hello students in today's session we will study about chapter 3 that is queries forms and reports in previous chapter you have learned about some basic feature of MSSS 2010 it is used to create and maintain related tables under one database however in MSSS you can create queries which are used to display selected data from a single table or more than one table you can also present data entered in a more understandable form as well as create reports then next is queries now question is what is a query a query is a request for obtaining desired result from the database you can use a query to answer a simple question to perform calculations to combine data from different tables or even to add modify or delete data from tables for example in the previous chapter while seeing the student table the question that can come to your mind are how many students have chosen karate as martial art activities or which students are interested in football queries are used to find answers to such questions now mss provides seven types of queries these are select query it select the data from one or more tables and display the data in the order in which the user wants to display it the next is advanced filter and sort query it is the simplest form of query it allow the user to find and sort information from a single table then total and summary query it allow the user to calculate sums average and so on of all the records next is parameter query it asks some information from the user before displaying the table data sheet then next is auto lookup query it automatically fills information in the table on behalf of the user then next is action query it is used to modify delete and add records from one table to another the next and last is cross tab query it is used to display table with the values of one field on the top and other down the side of the data sheet then next is setting relationship between tables in mss you use different tables to store data to get these divided information together you must first understand the relationship between the tables and then specify this relationship in the database once the relationship between tables is established data from tables can be used to create queries forms and reports a table relationship work by matching data in key fields that is with the same name in the both tables for example in table 3.1 and 3.2 name field is same c then usually these matching fields are the primary key which uniquely identifies each record in a table and a foreign key in the other table then question is what is a foreign key foreign key field refer to a field in a table that store values which matches the primary key field in another table next is to create a relationship between the following two tables guest and phone number follow the given steps in table 3.1 and 3.2 name field is same open one of the table in datasheet view then click on database tools tab then click on relationship button then there will two table listed in show table dialog box will appear then double click on both the tables to put them relationship windows then click on close button to create relationship by dragging and dropping the common field of one table on the top of the common field of the other table this will open edit relationship dialog box then click on create button a line will be drawn between the two tables showing that relationship 
has been created to save the relationship click on save button on quick access toolbar otherwise click on file tab and click on save if you want to delete a relationship then the relationship in the relationship window right click on the relationship line and choose delete option from the pop up menu and next is creating a select query let us create a select query in ms assist 2010 by the following step shown in figure 3.2 for this firstly click on create tab then click on query design option then show table dialog box will appear then click on fee table option then click on add option and then click on close button then double click on name of the students marks obtained and scholarship received field to add them to the query design then the bottom half of the query window that is the query design pane will appear for the c figure 3.3 here field name is name of the student marks obtained and scholarship received and table name is fees if you want to show these fields then click here then to execute or run the query follow the given steps click on design tab and then click on run option the query datasheet view will appear as shown in figure 3.5 it will show only the selected field from the fee table that is name of the student marks obtained and scholarship received with this you can create a select query then next is adding criteria in select query suppose you also want to find which or how many students have scored 65 or more marks this can be done by adding criteria while designing a query as shown in figure 3.6 for this click on home tab then click on view option then type greater than 65 in criteria text box of obtained marks field then click on design tab and click on run option the query datasheet view will appear as shown in figure 3.7 it will show only those record in which marks obtained are more than 65 that is 78 84 87 etc with this you can add criteria in select query option then next is saving a query a query can be saved by the following steps for this first click on file tab then click on save object as option then save as dialog box will appear then type select query in the save query one to text box then click on ok with this query is saved thank you